Welcome back to Chessington World Adventures here on UK Theme Parks. My name's Adam and this is our last update for 2022. And although we weren't here that long ago, um, in fact, only a few days ago, the track has now been complete. The outside track bit has now been complete. We need to check whether or not the back end of the station has been complete. I'm not sure that has yet, but in terms of uh, the piece on the right, which was waiting to be installed by the jumper ride, and indeed around the Jaguar, all those pieces are now in place. You might not be able to see them from here, but we will get you some close views of them. You can certainly see from here that work is progressing. It's a weekday, it's not a weekend, so um, they are working. They're working the run up to Christmas to get certain bits done. I believe they're taking Christmas off, so I'm not sure how much progress there'll be next week. But the Miami ride in front of us there, the jumper ride is also, we bought you that first last time that was being installed. That has been pretty much completed in terms of the hardware going in. And you can see the scaffolding around the station here they're working on as well. Lots going on on the site, lots going on. So let's get straight into the update now, get you some close-ups. Now staying at this top end, you can see this final piece here has now been installed. This was the piece that was waiting to be installed until after the jumper ride went in. And you can even see from here as well, the jumper ride. But you'll see that better from the other end. So you can get a real sense now of the track as it kind of loops around here, goes through that magnificent roll back down you've then got sort of a left and right chicane before heading around the jaguar sculpture now we did point out last time the entrance area which is going up which you can see sort of reminiscence of around here where the miami ride sits you can see as well that the snake has been uncovered quite a lot of work going on on this area here which we'll try and get a better view from the other end but yeah from the overall the site whilst it is very difficult to see it here when you walk around this area next year we're kind of expecting this bit to be grown up a bit when the when the barriers come down expect that to be grown up a bit and you'll certainly see the track you'll certainly see the train flying over the entrance through the inline now tucked behind the working area is a new piece of theming looks like a truck which is currently sitting on its side Yeah, it's going to be a lot of detail in this area, there's no doubt about that. See, it's definitely got ostrich feathers on the seats over the shoulder of strengths but all cars are now in place So there's the pinnacle point of the ride and you can see it in regards to the Jaguar just how much higher it is. Obviously there's brakes installed in case it's going too fast. It does have a mid-section boost. We don't know whether that'll work to go around the Jaguar or just help the train back to the station but I love the little detail touch like this on the end. That is superb. That really is superb. That'll be on the other end as well. We can't really see the other end of the uh, track. I don't think the uh, end bit of the station has yet been completed. Thank you. 
ride by a speaker, but you can follow the path of the uh, ride now as it comes out of the station through the inversion, right the way around here by the uh, entrance here. You can see all this has now been installed as it snakes down to do a circle around the Jaguar. And as I said, when you look at here, you know, top of the Jaguars here, the train's going to carry on a good 20 feet further to the top of the spike, which is now installed right there. The BMN track sits in the air, but the world of Jumanji's really come alive this week. Really, really come alive with the detail. It's really not long now, and we can actually get in there and ride this beast. There we go, we end 2022 here at Chessington World Adventures with a World of Jumanji update and we get to see the completed track layout. Yeah, what do you think? Honestly, what do you think now it's done? It does certainly go a little bit taller than what I thought it would go. Some of the turns seem really, really interesting as well and you'll still be taking them at some pace even though it's quite a short layout. Oh, really excited, really excited. So, the park uh, haven't released names yet, however, they have filed for trademarks. It's usually a good indication, but not 100% that it will be accurate. So, we're looking at Ostrich Stampede for the SBF Jumper Ride, which has just been installed there. Uh, we're looking Mumba Strike uh, for the Snake uh, Miami theme ride down the bottom there. And of course, we're looking at Mandrill Mayhem for the roller coaster. Now, as you can see, a lot of these are pictured on the advertising especially when you look at the original world of jumanji um press they released as well shows all of this so yeah really really exciting times here at chesington world adventures so they're not confirmed yet but i have to say we've seen the detail on both the mamba right there and the ostrich right there I don't think they're going to get changed. I really don't think they're going to change. And we'll leave those on the screen as well so you've just seen them. Uh, some of the detail which we can see on front of the roller coaster building there down the bottom uh, does match some of the detail on the Mandrill Mayhem logo. So yeah, exciting times. They look like they will be the names for the rides. Yeah, yeah, genuinely can't wait now. But that's it. That's actually our last vlog completely for 2022. I hope you have a fantastic Christmas. And let us know, will you be back for World of Jumanji? We're not done with the updates yet. We will be coming back and keeping an eye on this in the new year. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time.